Yo, what's going on guys? Matthew Hanser, here, aka the Clock Master. I'm here with my wife. Shannon, aka Cosmic Pink. And we are here to check out the final episode for... Fallout. Lots of questions, guys. Lots of thoughts. Lots of concerns. We'll see how this really big story wraps up for the first season. Yeah. And yeah, we're looking forward to season two already. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time seeing us, please make sure to go ahead and check out the playlist down below where you guys can watch all of our reactions to the previous episodes and kind of catch up just to kind of get a vibe of who we are, you know, what we're thinking about the show. We are show only uh, people right now. We have not played the games. We have not read any material or anything concerning this game outside of the series. Yeah. So um, yeah, we might be playing the game very soon. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, let's get right into it. Let's see what happens. We'll talk about it later as you normally do. Full reaction on Patreon. Let's get into it now. But he doesn't even fear them anymore. Yeah. I will. He knows he's not going to. Mm hmm. put up a fight. So did we. <laughs> Bruh. It's like they took over Philly. Yeah. Yeah, they just took over. Yep. That's crazy. Fallen into misfortune. Hmm. Is it? No, it's gonna happen to him, man. Yeah. I'm already kind of expecting him to die, so. Yeah. I'd be shocked if he didn't. <laughs> oh lord how's he gonna spin this one man yeah with me but lucy yeah <laughs> that's the thumbs up all right what you want to see in here mm-hmm Fresh crops. Yeah. Or is it fresh? Or does it just look fresh? Hmm. They got ghouls too. What in the Walking Dead community is this? Oh, that's the one he let go. That's the one she let go. Yeah. Hmm. He might speak for her. Maybe. They made a point to show him saying thank you so much. And then ran away. We need to hear what's going on, man. Well, thank you for the ride. Yeah. Uh, so it's prevented us from uh, working on projects that require centuries, maybe even millennia. Dude, it's sus. Yeah. Man, he's... Yeah. Oh, boy. We're going to get... I don't know if we're going to get answers. I don't know. But the end of this episode is going to leave me with more questions than answers. Yeah. Still nervous. I'm like twitching. <laughs> I know. How she survived so long? Yeah, that is such a she great question. The, the heck? She looks the same she did when. She looks the same she did when. We saw yeah. her in the past. What if I tell you how I know your father? Yeah, that'd be nice he too. Really Let's know. Let's there we go. Let's get these answers. Hello? He's a clone. It's just a brain. Huh. Thank you, Betty. Huh. Wait, you're not Betty. Nope, I'm not Betty. Call 53. Um. Uh, no. No. Okay, no, I'm sorry, just hold still. Who are you? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I won't answer. Is that Bud? It sounds like him. Look at the terminal. Wait, just. Is that Bud's brain? I think it might be. Bud's Buds? Yeah. Just to meet you for a moment? Of course. Yeah. Oh. What if it's what if it's the father? Mm -hmm. What if it's Lucy's dad, Henry? 
Hmm. On behalf of is, is Hank a nickname of Henry? I have no idea. Time. 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 Hmm. She's seeing it. Mm-hmm. Oh. If I could perhaps refocus the conversation. That's big boy. Mm-hmm. I am the overseer here. My orders must be followed. Brain in a Roomba. <laughs> he said. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bro. Oh, he's gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, a bunch of clones, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. This is a bunch of clones, bro. A bunch of manufactured humans. Yo, watch your calf, bro. Right, watch your calf. You still got the needle. Management. What if his mom found out? For yeah. And Three left. interconnected vaults. But we need more ideas. We need your ideas. So they're not clones, they were just preserved. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, no one needs to know. Dang. Mm. And may the best idea win. Please. All the experiments, it was her idea for these daggone experiments. How can you guarantee results? By dropping the bomb ourselves. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Everything all right, Mr. Howard? I mean, we had this theory that they were the ones that did it since the beginning, but... Yep. He is so excited. It's Hank. It's Hank McLean. But uh, everyone calls me Hank. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Yep. Good Lord. In the face? Of day, making him look young like in his doom days. Yeah. Is our it's crazy. War never changes. Oh my god. Wow. This is an episode of Who the F Did I Marry? Yes! Literally! <laughs> Loving. Curious. Isn't that why you <laughs> came to the surface, really? Partly to rescue your father. Did she get access on one of those time chamber things? Maybe. So it's gonna end up running away again. Mm hmm. To see the craters, man. Mm hmm. I took her children. I did not to return home. He killed her children and he burned that city to the ground so wait was she in shady sands was she in shady sands the entire time she said yeah oh that's how oh my god that's why the mar yeah it was yeah yeah and that's what she knew her huh and that's what she said the whole that's why Betty said, oh, I buried her myself. Yeah. She was she wasn't lying. Look at me. See. Nah, bro. Y'all nah. in shock. Like I am, but I'm not, but I'm in shock. Yeah. What happened to her? I think you know. How else would she have known what she looked like? Yeah. Is that her? Is that her mother? That's the necklace. Oh. Oh my God. Lucy. No, get out of here. Lying, Lucy. The necklace is right there. You can't tell she's lying. The necklace, the, code? the necklace is literally right there. You have the damn code. I don't know how I can trust Moldaver fully, though. I'm still kind of sus about her, because I don't know. Yeah. But the code thing at this point, what is there? You obviously lied about something, because my mom is clearly there. Yeah. Unless she took the necklace and put it on a random ghoul. Yeah. To manipulate her. But it's, like, embedded. They could do that somehow. I don't know. 
I don't know. Something at this point, there's nothing to lose. At this point, somebody's lying. Yeah. We don't know who lying, but somebody's lying. Well, we know he's not from this time period. Yeah, we know he's not. We know this. We know this. That's why Ghoul also knew the last name. Yeah. The McLean. Dang. What if that was a quote to destroy it, though? I don't know. Dang. That's very intricate. Yeah. Yep. Typing in the code confirms everything. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. So they just cryo sleeped a bunch of Vault Tech employees. Yeah. This is insane, man. Unless you want to Damn. starve to death, not much food in here except. So what happens when you run out of, uh, of bodies to be the next overseer? You just yeah. take a, you just take somebody and put them, train them. That may be true, but we don't know if she's a good person or not. Mm -hmm. We don't know who our actual plan with the cold fusion is. But you stopped being your mother when she left home. Huh. Wow. God. Well, she took you into danger. No, that she was fine. She was fine. That shot crazy. Man, dude sound like a whole op. Yes. God. Between their violent world and our peaceful one. I just want to know how... I mean, y'all didn't have to drop the bomb. Yeah. Man, this doesn't explain how Mold ever stayed alive so long. Yeah. Hmm. Jeez. Ouch. To make the world us, only ours to shape. But how long is that gonna take? Exactly. Because obviously there's people still living up there. Hundreds of years and we're still in the same issue. Yeah, there's still a lot of people. So, how long are we waiting? People are still gonna reproduce? Yep. There's a lot of moral ambiguity in this show. A lot. In this world. Everybody has their own way of trying to save the world. We're gonna create a better society one way or the other, and then Ghoul's here now. How's he gonna tie into all this? Nope. Mm, nope. Seems not. Took out the fusion core. Good lord. Oh, God. It's like you can't root for anyone, really. No. Everyone here. Yeah, everyone here is sheesh. God, bro, this episode is a hundred dollars are crazy. No. And I have to seen everything. A life of fakeness. You want a me life to of just fakery. Forgive. Forgive or forget and just move on, just so. No. No. Hey, I'm her father. Can you get us out of here? No. Ah. Lucy, let's go. He's gonna stop the cold fusion and take it. Yeah. Oh, unless he shoot them first. Maximus might do it. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god. He got himself in the armor. Lucy, you're coming with me. No! Oh my god. Great. She might have to do it. You see what this place does to people? Bro. Oh. And you killed my mother. It's hard to do it, but... It's hard to do it, but... You might have to. Somebody else might. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's my fucking family? Oh. Probably. In one of the vaults. Yep. Letting him get away. Well, he could. He probably couldn't have shot. He probably couldn't have shoot the yeah the blind spot. 
Bro, he might actually be dead, bro. Yeah. Bro, he might actually be dead, bro. Whole little world was decided over 200 years ago. Mm-hmm. And then everybody here. He's not wrong. Nope. Guess he might have found his morale. Mm-hmm. Her mom. Yeah, her mom. Put her out of her misery. Mm-hmm. She didn't get a chance to rest. She's just there yeah. screeching and screeching. Yeah. Suffering. And so if he just knocks out if he's actually dead, bro. Yeah. Wow. Now you really about to end like this? Oh, I want more. There's no way. Okay. okay. And Cold Fusion is ready. What are they going to do now? And the Brotherhood will clearly have access to what they were looking for. Right. Okay, he's alive. All right, he's alive. We did it. Did what exactly? Was it actually really bringing power back? Seems so. Oh, so she, okay, so oh. we, her intentions were actually pure. Yeah. Dang. Jeez. I mean, it, it's enough to power our, <laughs> lots of cities, more than just one. Yeah. Can't. That's probably nothing good. They're gonna use it to power all their stuff. Make, mm -hmm. make copies Maybe of it. All you can do is try. She's dead now. Yeah. All oh, hail Maximus! That shall be night hereafter! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> They're just looking out for Maximus, to be honest. Yeah. Because they're not seeing all the corruption and everything within it. They're not seeing the whole truth. If I was him, I would just embrace it and just try to find a way to change it within. Yeah. To actually be what it's supposed to be about. Dang. <laughs> Okay, they keep teasing <laughs> us with endings. They're like, how do we end this? Nah, let's throw another one in. <laughs> Should we end it here? Like... Nah, let's throw it in. <laughs> like, yeah, another one. Another one? Or are we done done? Nah, no. fam. Nah, we done done, bruv. Oh, no, man. Man, we done, fam. We're done. Oh, I'm so upset right now because there's so many questions. This makes me want to play the games, and I don't think Lucy's in the games, but I think the I stories. Because if I'm not mistaken, from what I researched a long time ago, I think the main character is just named Vault Dweller. So mm -hmm. I think you can just kind of make your Vault Dweller look yeah. like whoever you want. So maybe. I don't know, maybe Lucy has the Vault Dweller story. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe Lucy has the main character I know, story. Um, and they just changed it. I know, like, depending on the game, like, they're from, like, different, like, areas. Areas, different like, times. Yeah. Yeah. You know, different vaults. Some of them, I think, weren't even from the vaults. Yeah. So, like, I, I don't know if this is based off of a specific game or... If it's just combining um, a bunch of the games into one lore, yeah, or just like a new story completely, and there's well, many aspects. A from... lot of people saying that they, uh, from what comment I saw, someone say that they, they met, they somehow managed to take all the lore, the timeline of the lore from the game, and kind of condense it into one season. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So... Like, I think they might have did that, and then just had like an original story, not specific to any of the games. Maybe but I just don't... have the lore and like all the Easter eggs and like that maybe. kind of stuff. Or maybe they just maybe they literally just adapted the storyline from the game and just yeah. added new things. I really can't tell yeah, you. Yeah, I I like what's if, new, what's not new. Yeah, we've never played any of the games. So. If it's an exact copy or not. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't even looking at comments to see if that was a thing. I was reading comments just from everything. Everything that I saw, everyone said that how they they adapted the story from the games. Mm -hmm. so that's just what i've been seeing yeah i have i have no idea if it's from like any specific one or just like you know taking different parts and yeah well correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but from what i'm understanding from what i saw in the comments was that this story 
was based on all the lore in the game and they just took one of the stories and adapted it with new characters or they just took characters from because i know the ghoul is a character from the game Mm -hmm. i've seen him before Mm -hmm. like specifically with the cowboy hat and everything Mm -hmm. so i've seen that not just a ghoul i've seen that ghoul yeah at least the look with the hat and everything the cowboy hat and everything i've seen that Mm -hmm. in the games so at least just from what i've seen in the games yeah so um yeah i don't know but you know either way this has been a really good season yeah it's a good show it's really good everything about it has been like fantastic it makes me happier knowing that the game fans are satisfied with this too yeah because game fans and anime fans and book fans always get shafted the most. Yeah. When it comes to getting like adaptations. Yeah. It's always like anime fans, game fans, and book it's fans. It's still like recently, like it's a lot of the time it's just like really bad. And just yeah. not really, you know, adapting it well. Adaptations that were goaded from the fans and the critics, One Piece. Yep. Was loved by both. Mm-hmm. last of us was loved by both not fallout i can't think of anything else there might be something else that i'm missing mm-hmm. um that was adapted from something that was really goaded um percy jackson recently yeah from the books yeah was adapted really well mm-hmm. um i'm trying to think of any other adaptation that recently yeah, came i don't out. know if there was any other ones I can't, not off the top of my head, anyway. Yeah. Not off the top of my head. Yeah. But. I have to look at another video game adaptation. Has there been any other video game adaptation that came out? Um, Borderlands is coming out. Yeah, that movie. Yeah. Yeah, Borderlands is coming out. I don't know how well that's going to be. Yeah. But yeah, I, don't I don't know. It's more recent they've decided to, like, do more video game adaptations. Yeah, wasn't so. there another one recently, man? I don't think so. I'm curious. I feel like I'm missing one. Not that I'm, I'm remembering, because usually, like that kind of stuff, would we would react to. Yeah, so, I don't think there was. I'm checking just to be sure. Yeah, I'm, I, feel, I feel like there's something else. I could just be tripping. Yeah, I don't remember there being anything else. Yeah, let's see. Uh, so I'm getting a list here. Obviously, The Last of Us is one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's taking forever to give me this list, but it's working slowly. But it's working. Fallout was already listed. Mm-hmm. Again, it's working. It's going slow, but it's working. <laughs> um, it's working. Uh, Borderlands, as you mentioned. I, I guess the only exactly. one that may be coming out, if you were to include it, would technically... Actually, no. There is another one. What? There was uh, Super Mario. That's true. A video yeah. game adaptation. It is a Super Mario Brothers. Technically. Um, and if you want to go down that list for video games, um, there's also Sonic. The Sonic movies. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. it's not like there's crazy amount of lore in Sonic. Yeah, it's I was more thinking so more like, like adult content. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm talking about video game adaptation. I don't yeah. care if it's adult game or not. I'm just talking about the act of it because Percy yeah. Jackson's not adult, you know? Percy That's Jackson's fair. made for kids, made for teens, you know? Um, I'm just thinking about, like, just video games <laughs> in general. Um, we know that they're making... Oh, technically, there was one, but it wasn't good. What? Uncharted. I heard it was bad. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't seen it, it, and I refuse to watch it. Yeah. But I heard it was bad. Bro... I love the Uncharted games so much. Like I played all of them. I only played them. the fourth one. It was amazing. Yeah, I played I all it. of them outside of like the um the 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 post games, yeah. which you wouldn't let me play. You still yeah. wouldn't allow you still wouldn't allow me to play because you want to play first. Yes. Um, but I played like all of like the main games. And as soon as I saw freaking Tom, Tom Holland, Holland as yeah. Nathan Drake, I refused to watch that damn movie. I'm not watching it, bro. I don't that care. That is not Nathan Drake. I'm not watching it. I will live and die by that. If it was Mark Wahlberg as Nathan, I would accept it more. I would accept it more, absolutely. But that is not Nathan Drake. Tom doesn't give Nathan Drake energy. No, he doesn't. And I love Tom Holland. I love Tom. Not, not for Nathan Drake. Yeah, I love Tom Holland, but he's definitely doesn't. He's definitely not. Not Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake. 
Not at all. No. Not at all. No. But yeah, I think um, there's a Ghost of Tsushima one that's supposed to be coming out. Uh, they're technically making a God of War they series for God Amazon. War, yeah. I mean, if Amazon is going to keep doing stuff like this where they hire I mean, the right people. I'd, I'd be pretty pleased because this was amazing. I mean, Bethesda had a direct involvement with this. Yeah. And obviously, we know Jonathan Nolan. You know, yeah. He also mentioned he was a fan yeah. so, of the game. So um, if Amazon is going to keep hiring the right people... Then we could be on a good path. Uh, we could be in a good yeah. path. I mean, we didn't finish the Rings of Power. I heard mixed reviews about it. Yeah. You know, because the diehard Tolkien fans are like, yeah. Some of them are like, yeah. And then some of them are like, this is dog doo-doo. Yeah. Horrible adaptation of Tolkien's work. Yeah. Hell no. And so, I don't know. But if, if after Fallout, I mean, if they hire the right people for God of War, it could yeah. be goaded too. It could be really good, yeah. So... Let's get Jonathan Nolan to more stuff. Yeah, let's get Jonathan let's Nolan. Get let's get him doing a lot more stuff. Get him more adaptations. Because, he, he'll take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy got to get an Emmy for this. Yeah. This, this guy got to get an Emmy. This show got to get an Emmy next year. This was really good, man. This was Golden so Globe good. Emmy. Yeah. Nah, this just like how I called it. I called that episode three of Last of Us will get Emmys. What did it do? Mm-hmm. They got it. Got Emmys. So I'm calling it. I can't say there's one specific episode in this in this series that stood out to me, like Last of Us episode three, which I can just name off the top of my head now. Because that is like that is a short the, most, <laughs> the most amazing episode of television. Period. Yeah, that's one of the bit the best I've seen. Well written. It, it y'all, if you haven't seen it, go check out our reaction to that. It's on the channel. Um, I was sobbing. I was in deep, I was in so much tears. I, I have never been moved by a show or an episode since then. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved every episode of this series. It made me, I'm now a Fallout fan and I want to get more into the games now. I actually yeah. am more motivated to play the games now than I have been. Yeah. Um, And I loved every episode. I mean, every episode was like watching a movie. Every episode was like watching a movie. Yeah. The only other show I could... Think of that had an amazing premiere that just really still sticks with me to this day. For the very first time I watched it was Invincible season one, episode one. Mm -hmm. The ending yeah. with when Omni Man and everything. Yeah. That episode, another episode I can think of was premiere for the boys season one. Mm -hmm. That's another great episode. Lots of Amazon hits, man. If you, if you really think about it, Amazon kills it. Honestly, if, I mean, if you're really thinking about it, they've had mostly hit hits. Yeah. Because you got Invincible, you got The Boys, mm -hmm. now this, and I can't, again, The Rings Reach. of Power, we didn't finish it, so. Reacher. There's Reacher. Yeah. Which was also goaded. I, I never finished it. There's the Jack Ryan series. I heard that was really great, too. With, um. Jack Ryan? Yeah. Mm. With, um, with your boy, uh, uh. Yeah, I forget his name. I'm forgetting his name now. Um. What is his name? I'm seeing his face. It's bothering me now. Yeah. Um, you boy, man. Dang. I'm usually good with these names, but uh uh It's bothering me now, man. Yeah. Don There it is. Yeah, I heard I heard Jack Ryan was pretty good. I haven't really I only watched like the first episode or two. So I can't really yeah. speak, but in terms of the big heavy hitters, man, like Fallout is now on their list of a goaded season, mm -hmm. goaded show. Definitely. Um, so yeah, Amazon is really out here. Yeah, they're they're really putting big it stuff. in, man. Oh, and we're forgetting another really big one. Wheel of Time. Oh, yeah, of course. How can we forget the Wheel of Time? Right. Like another adaptation that fans are for the most part happy with. Happy with. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of like mixed discussions from the book fans who yeah. Either and we've seen it because we all we also reacted to the Wheel of Time on the series as well. I mean on, on this on this channel as well. Yeah. Um, but we've seen mixed comments from uh from fans who either who read the books who either really loved Wheel of Time, was kind of mixed about it, and really hated it. Yeah. But for the most part, it was overwhelming overwhelmingly positive. Ugh. Um, especially with the way how season two ended and everything, yeah. how they how they flowed with season two, how they changed everything. Mm -hmm. Um but Fallout, I will say, is the first time that I've seen the gaming community so unanimously, like, 
vocal on the same decision mm-hmm. for this series. Definitely. I've never seen that before. Like, you would always see mixed reviews. Yeah, because the gaming community is very hard to please. Very hard to please. Yeah. Like, Last of Us, like, people were pleased, but people were also not at the there same time. There was also the mix, yeah. Yeah, I was very pleased with it. Everywhere so. I went online, because I was kind of treading lightly because we didn't finish it at the time, but everywhere yeah. I went, even including our comments, it's been nothing but absolute positivity, an mm-hmm. overwhelming amount of positivity. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be, like, you know, your handful pocket of people are just like, no, they messed up Ghoul's story. They messed up this. They messed up that yeah. or whatever. Oh, the Brotherhood doesn't do this or what? I don't know what it yeah. is, but like there might be some people who may not be have been happy with certain things. Yeah. But for the most part, man, I have just been seeing a lot of positivity. Yeah, for surrounding sure. Surrounding the series and like everyone kind of leading towards yeah. it. As we're talking about this, I want to check on the fan score again. I think it was 80 something last I checked, though. I don't know if it went up or went yeah, lower. Yeah, I, I something. I don't know. I haven't even seen like period. I, it so. was like eighty three or eighty five or something. It might have went higher. It might have went lower. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Let's see what the Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Fans have it at an eighty eight. Eighty eight. Okay, so it actually went up. Yeah. It was eighty two last time. It's, yeah. it's damn near perfect. Yeah, and critics have it at a ninety four. It's damn near so. perfect on both fronts. I'm so very happy that the that they got something right that. Even the gaming fans yeah. were satisfied with. Yeah, a lot of adaptations, like, in general, like, have been very tricky to adapt. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter if it's, like, books or, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Video games, anime, whatever it might be. It's been very hard for, like, a lot of these studios to adapt them. Mm-hmm. And I feel like now they're trying to treat it with more respect. But if you like look at it, I think the only thing that really dropped the ball was uh sorry, I didn't mean to cut you mid thought. Okay. Um sorry, I didn't mean to cut you. If you had more to say. No, no, go, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I was just gonna say one that might have dropped the ball was the one you reacted to. The one I reacted to? Yeah, the uh, Harlan Cobins. Oh yeah. It's a book adaptation for yeah. uh, you know, a smaller book series, I would say. Smaller fan base. Smaller fan know? base. So I wouldn't necessarily say it flopped. I didn't really see a lot of people just talking about it in general. So yeah, it got but, canceled I mean, before it got a chance to do anything. Yeah. So, you know, that's. But. But I feel like in general, like a lot of these bigger studios are trying to put like more respect on the work itself. Trying. What do you mean? Say if. What do you mean? Like, Netflix is very wishy-washy with that. We're not talking about Netflix. But you said bigger studios, so well, I mean, Netflix is included in that, you know? Okay, well, trying, because One Piece was successful. One Piece is a one-off, for sure. But Definitely, but we yeah. We have The Last of Us, we have Game of Thrones, HBO, House of the HBO, Dragon. HBO. <laughs> Fallout. Amazon MGM but Studios. That's what I'm saying. They're <laughs> no, trying. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, I was just saying, you got to be specific with these studios because if you say big studios, that also includes Netflix, and they have been very... I said a lot. I didn't say all of them. Okay, well, fair enough, fair enough. Fair I didn't enough. say all. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, fair, 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 fair. Yeah, you, if you've been on the channel, you've seen our thoughts about the Avatar adaption. Uh... <laughs> We have not been nice to her. We're, that's an error we're not going to talk we're about. We're not going to keep talking about it, but, you know, if you want to see our thoughts. That's an error that we're not going to talk about. The videos are still up if you want to watch them. But yeah. We're, we're, we're not going to talk about that error. Yeah. I will say However, Netflix, yeah. but, but besides our opinion, though, a good look, like, I will say, though, it was, I would say a lot was better than M. Night Shyamalan. Let's be real. Yeah. You okay. haven't seen it, but I've seen a movie. A lot was From better than- From the clips than, I've seen. Yeah, a lot was better than M. Night Shyamalan, and a good majority of the fan base was, for the most part, pleased yeah. with it. Obviously, there's, you know, we just happened to fall into that smaller pocket of people that just weren't happy about it. Yeah. But, you know, even then, you got to give Netflix their props. For the most part, a lot of the fans were pretty satisfied with it. Yeah. Um, Even though it didn't score as high as Fallout yeah. or as Last of Us. So, obviously, there's yeah. a scale for this. I feel like HBO and Amazon are, like, the two ones that are really, like, you know, pioneering yeah, because House of the Dragon just unstoppable. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss for that. Yeah. Game of Thrones had its moments. It had its weaker seasons and its stronger yeah. seasons, but overall, very good product. Yeah. Last of Us, amazing. Last of Us, amazing. Yeah. You know, like there's other series that I'm also um thinking about. Uh, so this show is not an. I don't know if it's. I think it's actually an adaptation of a book. 
Now, critics didn't really rate it too highly, but Kate Winslet's The Regime, I've been enjoying that series. I've just mm-hmm. kind of been watching that on my own. I haven't shown it to Shan yeah, yet. I haven't, seen it. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't been like, hey, Shan, let's watch this show yeah. that I've already seen. Let's watch it again. Um, but The Regime, I thought, was a pretty decent show. It wasn't the best. They had some writing issues and some kind of thing. But I think overall, the concept was good. Kate Winslet killed it. And it was a great series. I was I only have like one episode left. So um, for the most part, it was pretty good. So, I mean, there's been a lot of series that's been coming out. That's just, that was just like, OK, mm-hmm. you know, let's, let's... I'll give you a Netflix book adaptation that works. Which one? Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. We haven't read the books, but I know the Bridgerton bookies yeah. are very satisfied with Bridgerton. Yeah. So absolutely. Bridgerton. I'll tell you something. Bridgerton is one of my all time favorite show- shows. It's now a comfort show for me. I love Regency era shows. I love Regency era books. I don't care about it. Y'all can laugh at me, whatever. I'm not ashamed about it. I love the cutesy. You know, yeah. the cutesy Regency romance and drama. And like, I love that cutesy stuff. I don't yeah. care. I'm proud to say it on a video. You yeah. can play it for my grandkids. They need to know who their granddaddy is. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I love I love me some Bridgerton. I rewatch the first season very often. I rewatch the second season very often. And uh, the spinoff Queen Charlotte as well. I love it. I love those series. I mean, Outlander, too. Like, I was open about Outlander, yeah. too. For, you know, it wasn't made... For you know, for for it was the target audience was you know middle aged middle aged women. women. That's yeah. just argued. That's just what it was. But I love Outlander to this day. One of yeah. my favorite series. So I just love good stories. I don't care. I don't care like what it is really. Like yeah. even now, I'm even more open to horror than I was horror when I because uh, like <laughs> people have pointed out that when I say that word because of my accent and like how I talk, mm-hmm. it sounds like I'm saying a different word. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> horror 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 <laughs> music uh mu- I mean music well music too but mm-hmm. like um but movies and shows yeah. i've been more open to it now i love good stories i just love stories yeah. really good stories yeah, we're just opposite stereotypes because i i like rom-coms and stuff like that i'm a sucker for a rom-com but like my, my first love is always horror yeah I, I would say my first love yeah i mean if we're talking about first loves that's always well, going to be like I'm not saying that it was your first love. Oh, oh, oh. But I'm just saying, like, I always gravitated more towards horror movies. Meanwhile, you were not in, like, the horror genre, like, at all. Yeah, if I, back then, if I had to choose, prior to my wife, if I had to choose to sit down and spend my evening watching a horror movie or a cheesy rom com, I'm choosing a cheesy rom com. Yeah. Um, so I grew up with two sisters and I, that, I just, that's how I bonded. We just bonded watching all kinds of stuff and I'm not ashamed about it. I'm not ashamed about that kind of aspect. I love a lot of feminine stuff. That, that's nothing for me to be ashamed about. Um, I just love good stories. I love a good time. So if it's good, it's good. I don't care. You know, I like, I, you know, I feel like a lot of guys um, are very ashamed to talk about that or ashamed to like, admit when you know that they can enjoy it yeah like you can enjoy whatever you want to enjoy bro it's all good like i can like action and gore and blood and guts and gnarliness and horror but i can also like cutesy cheesy yeah romantic like lovey-dovey a movie is stuff a, i don't care a movie a show is meant to be enjoyed listen mama mia hey here hey, we go again mia. listen that's one i become one of my favorite movies now so yeah you already loved abba before that though so was that you already loved abba before that though. Oh, oh so i love i love me some abba listen to me don't get me started on abba <laughs> listen to me all right Listen, bro, I grew up watching all kinds of stuff, man. You got to be open to media. You know, you got yeah. to be open to open to it because you're going to be robbing yourself with some good stories, man. Like, um, <laughs> my, my, my background growing up is all mixed up. I grew up watching Knight Rider with my, like, I literally, my, mo- my mother shaped a lot of what I watched, like, in terms of, like, being open to watch. Because she, we would sit down there and watch Knight Rider. Then we'd go and watch Murder, She Wrote. And yeah. then we sit down and watch Young and the Restless. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then we even react to The Flash together on the channel. So, you know, you got to just be open to that kind of stuff, man. Like, don't judge it. Just enjoy it. And because if, if I if I judged it, guys, I would have never watched Fallout. If you asked me to watch Fallout seven to eight years ago, 10 years ago, I would have said no. Yeah, I would have said no. I would have brushed it off. Yeah. And I love the series now. Yeah, it's great. I was a little more hesitant to watch it in the beginning. Purely for the fact that I'm like, oh, I don't really know anything about like the base material or, you know. But sometimes but that's okay, you know? That's what I'm saying. Sometimes yeah. it's okay. And I'm like, I didn't know like how it was going to go. Like, 
because I'm still scarred from like past adaptations just being really bad. And so like it had dropped like the night before, like what people were thinking about it. And we're like, oh, OK, this might actually be like really good. Yeah. So and then we watched it. And obviously, like our hype just built more and more for it. So, yeah, we stayed away from the reviews. Yeah, we. Yeah. I haven't watched or seen like anything. Yo, as far, I just thought about something to do. Another funny thing that how my wife and I are different um, or opposites in some ways. When I was trying to get her into anime. There we go. I put her onto a slice of life romance anime yeah. and she was just like, ew. <laughs> okay, no, it was a weird one. It was kind of weird. It but was I, weird. I liked it though. I, I liked, liked it. it. I liked weird. it. It was weird. I liked it. I liked I liked, I like it. I like it. I, like I don't it. remember what happened, but it was weird. She didn't like it as much. But I, then I put her on to Naruto. That's not the first one I watched. Which was the first? No, was it Attack on Titan? Or was it? No, no. I watched Attack on Titan. She's the one I put, you, on. On one I put you on that had you watch it. I reacted to my hero. Was my hero as yeah. the starter. There we go. Yeah. And yeah, then we yeah, watched yeah. Naruto on our own. And we watched Naruto on yeah. our own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from Black there. Clover. And... Listen, when I got, when, when Shan got Naruto, she didn't want to drop it down. Yeah. I watched like, the entirety of Naruto. Man, those thing. are good days. Yeah. Just binging Naruto. All day after work, mm-hmm. like she would get home from work and she's working her other job at that time. She would get home and then we would just binge Naruto to for the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> all night, man. And then on the weekends, it was all day binging. Yeah. All day binging Naruto. And then we we're watching Hunter, a little bit of Hunter. We didn't finish it, but a little bit. Of, oh, I got a little further than you. Yeah. Because I was like, also like I was watching it like when I was going to the gym in the morning and stuff. Yeah. yeah that's right. That's right. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. watched the entirety, at least of the first season of like Promise Neverland when I was just in the gym by myself. Man, I want to watch Hunter now. <laughs> Tripping. But the thing is, the point is, I'm the one that's most likely to watch a slice of life QT yeah. anime. And my wife was like, give me the action. Give me the hot men with black hair. <laughs> Give me no. Jujutsu Kaisen. The silver hair. And the black hair. So Captain Yami? Okay, but you're forgetting the silver hair. Ghetto? I th- I have duality, okay? <laughs> Give me... Give me the red hair too. And, uh, oh yeah, the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fairy tale, fairy tale. Fairy and uh, the dude from Black Clover too. Um, Shanks, man. And this, this not, not one Shanks, no, One Piece. piece. No, um, uh, Red Hair. Who's Red Hair? And Black Clover. Who was Red Hair and Black Clover? The one that came in later. He was Red Hair? Mm-hmm. Who? Who? What's hmm. his name? Also, Black Clover's on Netflix now, by the way, if y'all Dora. haven't watched it. Who? Dora. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about Zora for yeah, like half a second. Because they didn't give him enough screen time. Then they canceled Netflix, it. Netflix, please pick up Black Clover. Please pick up Black, uh, pick and, up Black Clover. And use the people that did uh, the first few seasons of um, well, we of haven't Seven seen, Deadly. We haven't seen movie, so we don't even know if the animation is good in the movie. That's fair. If because it's maybe a, that team is good. If it's good in the movie, then give me that. If not, then yeah. the people. Whoever Seven Deadly is <laughs> another one. Seven Deadly is another one. We can talk about anime all day, okay. y'all. Anyway. We have to wrap up this video. You want to <laughs> wrap it up? Let's wrap it up. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, guys. Uh, that's it, man. We talk way too daggone much. Yeah. Uh, but if you made it to <laughs> the end, we appreciate you guys. We really appreciate your support. Trust me. Trust me, we do. Um, so yeah, if you've been on Patreon and you've been following the journey, thank you so much for that as well. And uh, please leave your thoughts and comments down below for anything else you would like to see us react to. We're gonna be heading back to X Men. We miss it. I miss it. Yeah. We're gonna be getting back to our X Men binge, and uh, we're gonna be reacting to some recent movies that just came out: yeah. Dune and um, Kung Fu Panda Four, and uh, some other movies in the mix there that that's yeah. gonna be re- uh, coming out. We'll also be hitting those up as well. Um, so yeah, pretty much any other big series that's gonna be dropping. Um, whether it be on Max or Disney Plus or whatever, any other yeah. big major series are going to be also reacting to. Yeah. Um. The only thing we won't be reacting to right now, I'll tell you that right now, is Deadpool uh, three. No, we or we'll, are Deadpool and Wolverine. We will be in that theater on opening night. Opening night, we will be in that theater. We are yeah. not. So do not reacting to that. Maybe a review. Yeah. But... Maybe, no. One thousand percent review. One thousand percent review. But uh, don't don't expect a reaction. <laughs> maybe a rewatch. Maybe a rewatch. People yeah. don't really like those. No. Yeah. But anyways, we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for your support and your subscriptions if you have subscribed. And uh, check out some of the other stuff on the channel to see if there's anything else you're interested in in staying. We also, like we said, do movie reactions as well. So if the X-Men stuff is not your thing, stick around for um, for the movies 
Uh, Because when we're done with X-Men, by the way, we're going to be doing X-Men 97. And when we're done with that, we're going to be moving on to some of the other series. Batman, the animated series. Spider-Man. Yeah. uh, Wolverine and the X-Men. Some of the newer uh, X-Men spinoffs. And lots of fun stuff planned for the rest of the year. So make sure to subscribe for that. We'll see you next one. Clockmaster and... Cosmic Binks. Out.